Next is how do you solve various types of functions? So we have various types of functions. Of course, we have odd function and even function. An even function is minus x is equal to f of x. So f of minus x is equal to f of x. Say for example, uh, you have x square as a function. So even if you put x as 1, it's going to be the same as x square. If you put x as minus 1 also, it's going to be x square. So this kind of a function is called f of x. Or you have say uh, cos of minus x is the same as cos of x. So this is an even function. An odd function is one in which f of minus x is minus f of x. For example, sine of minus x will be minus sin x. In simple words, an odd function would become the opposite of the function when the value is just negative, when the value of x is opposite. Here, when the value of x is made opposite, opposite of what you are substituting, when the domain value becomes opposite, the function still remains the same. And a periodic function is of the form f of x plus b is f of x. Say for example, sin 45 is going to be 1 by root 2 and sin 90 plus 45 that is sin 135 is also 1 by root 2. So if you look at it, sin x is a periodic function f of x if we take it because at regular interval as in this case h being 45. Uh, at regular intervals of 90, you find that the sine value is going to repeat itself. So, x sine of x, that is sine 45, is equal to sine of x plus h. So, this is a periodic function. So, any function whose value repeats itself at regular intervals, it remains the same, then we call it as a periodic function. Okay. Now we go back to the same kind of simple concept given the function f of x is x square minus 7 what is f of root 7. So f of root 7 is bound to be root 7 square minus 7 which is 7 minus 7 that is 0 and this ambiguity without doubt is 0. Okay, now see here, we have f of x is 3 raised to x plus 1 upon 3 raised to x minus 1, then f of x is what type of a function? How do you assess? We just have to substitute instead of x, minus x. So let us see, suppose it is f of minus x. f of minus x would mean you have to replace x with minus x. So it will become 3 raised to minus x plus 1 upon 3 raised to minus x minus 1 which would turn out to be 1 upon 3 raised to x plus 1 divided by 1 upon 3 raised to x minus 1 which will turn out to be 1 plus 3 raised to x upon 3 raised to x upon 1 minus 3 raised to x upon 3 raised to x this of course gets cancelled this will be actually 3 raised to x plus 1 upon 1 minus 3 raised to x can be written as minus of 3 raised to x minus 1 which is the same as minus of f of x. So in short we see that when we replace x with minus x it becomes minus f of x. That means the function becomes the, the opposite of it. So minus 3 that means it is not an even function it is an odd function because the value of f of minus x becomes minus f of x which is what we just substituted replaced x with minus x and see what we get so it's an odd function now let us see what this is on similar basis g of x again we need to check g of minus x g of minus x is 3 minus minus x square we replace x with minus x which is the same as 3 minus x square which is the same as g of x. So g of minus x is equal to g of x. So it is odd function. Mm -hmm. It is not periodic either. It is an even function. So the first one is an odd function and the second one is an even function. So this is how we can classify functions that whenever you need to decide whether it's an odd function or an even function, replace x with minus x, simplify the function. 
If the function remains exactly the same, it is an even function. If the function becomes the negative of it or the opposite of the original function, it is an odd function. So, what do we have here? We have a function f of x, which would be q into x minus p divided by q minus p plus p into x minus q divided by p minus q. Find the value of f of p plus f of q. Now, f of p will be obtained by replacing every x with p. So, you have q into p minus p upon q minus p plus p into p minus q upon p minus q. So, this gets cancelled. This, of course, becomes 0. So, it becomes q into 0, which is 0 plus p, which will turn out to be p. And f of q would be obtained by replacing every x with q. So, you get q into q minus p upon q minus p plus p into q minus q upon p minus q. Now, this of course would become 1 and this becomes 0. So, we get q plus 0 which is q. Hence, f of p plus f of q is nothing but p plus q. So, the correct option among these is p plus q. You just have to replace x with the corresponding value of that particular variable, right? We have a p plus q. Okay, now we have a function that is f of x which is log x. So, f of p, f of x is log x where x is greater than 0 then f of p plus f of q plus f of r. Now, f of p plus f of q plus f of r is nothing but log p plus log q plus log r and as per rules of log, log a plus log b plus log c is nothing but log of a, b, c which is the same function of p which is the same as log f of p, q, r. So, f of p, q, r itself is log p, q, r whereas if you replace x with p, q, r you get log p, q, r. So, among these it is this that is the answer. So, function of the same function in the domain range value becomes pqr is equal to log pqr. Yes, we are right there. Okay. Then, y is equal to h of x, which is p of px minus q divided by qx minus p. So, y is equal to px minus q upon qx minus p. So, that means f h of x is this. So, if y is this cross multiply you get, if you cross multiply you get q x y minus p y is p x minus q. You have been asked to find the value of x which means we need to eliminate x. So, we collect all the x terms you get q x y minus px is equal to py minus q. In this you can take x common and you get qy minus p is equal to py minus q. So, therefore x would be py minus q upon qy minus p which is the same as this function wherein x has been replaced by y. That means x of this is the same as h of y. The value of x becomes h of y. This is what we later on introduce as an inverse function. So, you get p y minus q upon q y minus p. If this y had been replaced by x, you would have got p x minus q upon q x minus p, which is h of x. So, the value of x turns out to be p y minus q is equal to q y minus p. It is nothing but the same function when the variable becomes y. If we compare it with this, so which is the same as h of y. Right? So, among these, 
It's H of Y that is the right answer. Yes, and we do get that. F of X is X square minus X. Find F of H plus 1, which would mean you replace X with H plus 1, which will be H plus 1. The whole square minus of H plus 1, which can be written as H square plus 2H plus 1 minus h minus 1 and h sorry minus h minus 1 so 1 and minus h gets cancelled and you get h square plus h this is h square plus h which is not the same as f of x so definitely not this we'll have to check what is f of minus h f of minus h is minus h the whole square minus of minus h which means function is f of x wherever there is x we substitute minus h which will turn out to be h square plus h and f of h plus 1 is also h square plus h so that means f of h plus 1 will be equal to f of minus h so we just have to substitute the various values of the given variable we get the answer as f of minus 